Welcome, class. Galvanometer conversion. And uh, we want to see um, how to convert galvanometer to ammeter. And then if you want to convert a galvanometer to ammeter, first of all, I want you to know two things. This is a symbol of galvanometer. And this is a symbol of resistance. And for you to convert galvanometer to ammeter, this question comes out every single year in jam wire and deco. You can't do without it. If you are converting galvanometer to ammeter, you have to connect first a low resistance. And the name of the low resistance is called the shunt. And that low resistance must be connected in parallel to the galvanometer. Like I said, you have to connect a low resistance. And the name of the low resistance is called the shunt. And that low resistance must be connected in parallel. We have already done both parallel and series connection is, in, is on our channel. Endeavor to watch it. Now, you can see from this our circuit that here is a galvanometer. And then this one is the resistance of the galvanometer, which is a small r. And the, the short resistance, which is a low resistance that is connected in parallel, is represented with capital R. And then you can see that this i is the current of the world, the ammeter. Now, what I want you to know is, let look at how this diagram has been arranged and know this formula for me. I, I In this our channel. We're only interested in how to make it to sort 300 and above in jam. Now to make it to come out with A's in your work. Now, all you need to do is for you to know this formula. That R, which is a short resistance, is equal to IG times small letter R. And then, I want you to know what this means. This IG is a galvanometer Correct. The current of the galvanometer. Please note it down in your booklet immediately. This IG is current of the word galvanometer. Please note, I did not write it like this. I wrote it. Look at the way I wrote it. Note it very well. This is the current of the galvanometer. R, small r, is the resistance of the galvanometer. This is I. And then this I is the current, the ammeter current. Remember, we are converting galvanometer to ammeter. So this I is the ammeter current. And of course, the IG still remains the galvanometer word, current. Now, R is a short resistance. R is a short resistance. So this is the formula we are going to use to, to use to what? Calculate or convert galvanometer or to, 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 we are going to use it in this calculation of galvanometer to what? Ammeter. Now, we have a very simple question here. It's at the board. You can see it. Now, um, a galvanometer of resistance 5 ohms has a full scale deflection for a current of 100 milliammeter. How would it range be extended to 1 ampere by placing a resistance of what? Now, first of all, they want you to calculate the R, the resistance of the shunt. And then you know that your R is what? Ig times R all over what? I minus what? Ig. And then, like I said in physics, make sure you bring out the terms already given in the question. And then from here, you can see that a galvanometer of resistance, so we have your small r is what? It's 5 ohms. Has a full scale deflection of current. So the current of the galvanometer is what? That means that your Ig is what? 100 milliamps. Now, how would it range be extended to what? One ampere. You can see that this is our what? Our current, which is what? Your one ampere. Now, they want you to calculate your what? Your R. I want you to note something. This 100 milliammeter must be converted. We only need the current to always be in what? In ampere. So, for you to convert 100 milli ammeter to what ammeter you divide by what by 1000 and then you can see 
it will give you 0 0.1 what, what? One amp, 0 0.1 ampere. Now, all you need to do is just insert this into this formula and your answer flow naturally. You don't need to waste time. So, the current of the galvanometer is 0 0.1 times the resistance, which is 5, all over the current, the current of the ampere is what? 1 minus the galvanometer current, which is what? 0 0.1. And this will give you 0 0.5 divided by what? 0 0.9. And that will give you a resistance of 5 all over 9 ohms. Now, look at this. Set. How would it be raged? How would a range be extended by placing a resistance of what? So you need a resistance of 5 all over 9 ohms in parallel to convert this galvanometer to what? An ammeter. It's so simple. It's so simple, guys. I'm going to solve one more example on this, and that should do it. We have another second example. A galvanometer of resistance 2 ohms gives a full scale deflection for a current of 10 milliammeter to a to an ammeter of 10 amperes calculate the shunt resistance and of course your beautiful formula ig times r all over i minus 1 ig now your galvanometer the current of the galvanometer is what 10 milliamperes you divide it by 1000 to convert it to what to amperes this will cancel this, and therefore you get 0 0.01 volt ampere. The current, the current passing through the ammeter to an ammeter of what is equal to what 10 amperes. So you don't need to even convert at all. You have a galvanometer of resistance. That means the resistance of the galvanometer is what 2 ohms. Insert it into this formula and get your answer immediately, and that will give you 0 0.01 times 2 all over 10 minus 0 0.01 and this time this is going to give you 0 0.02 10 minus 0 0.01 will give you 9.99 if you punch it in your calculator what you're going to get is 2 times 10 raised to the minus 3 ohms and that is the um, the shunt resistance which is the low value of the Short resistance that is connected in what in parallel to convert a galvanometer to an ammeter. That is it for this video.